I would try to spruce up our kitchen a little bit and decorate a little bit for Christmas, which I don't normally do. Um, but I saw somebody showed on Instagram how they got a piece of garland and then cut it into three foot lengths and then made these mini wreaths and hung them on their cupboards. So I'm pretty sure I can figure that out. So let's give it a try. Well guys, today kind of got away from me and this is the first time I've had all day to sit down and chat with you guys. Um, this morning I did a little bit of reskeining. I had some yarn that I needed to label. Um, I had to do a quick run out because like I hinted to yesterday, I had a little mishap which has slowed down um, some aspects of what I do and basically what happened was one of the machines that I use for reskeining yarn has broken and I got a new part in. I had ordered a new part right away. Unfortunately, the part that I got had a manufacturer's defect. 
So I ended up taking the part over to a repair shop and they're gonna have a, have a look at it. Meanwhile, I still have another new replacement coming. It's just not here yet. So that's all very, very 2020, but hopefully one of the two will pan out, either the new part or they'll get the old one fixed. Let's fingers crossed that it, that it works out. And after we got back from the repair shop, I had lunch with my husband. He is working from home. He has been working from home this whole pandemic. So his last day in the office was mid-March. Um, so we had a nice lunch together. And after lunch, I hung up the wreaths in my kitchen, uh, which I showed you with some of the footage. I thought I'd placed the camera right um, so that you could see me hanging them up, but I'm gonna have to take some separate video of that because I Pretty sure you just would have been able to see my bum and well, nobody wants to see that. So I finally made my Nespresso coffee for the day. It is in my Copenhagen mug. Um, I was so glad to get this mug because when I still lived in Europe, these these particular um, Starburst, Starbucks mugs were not out. Um, there was actually no Starbucks anywhere close to where I lived. It was like only in Copenhagen, I think, and I'm about as far as way away from Copenhagen as you can get. Um, anybody who's familiar with Denmark, I was in the northern part of Jutland, and um, that's about a four hour, four hour drive, I think, to Copenhagen. I've only done it a few times. I've actually not spent very much time in Copenhagen. Um, and it's kind of funny because a few of my friends here who have traveled to Denmark have probably spent more time there than, than I have. But I was really happy when, I think it was my dad who brought me the mug one year. So super happy about that because I do collect these mugs and I was heartbroken really when they discontinued this style of mug in North America. I think they still have this style in other parts of the world, but in North America, they've come out with the new, I think these are called You Are Here. Yeah, these are the You Are Here, and then there's the Been There series, and I'm not as fond of the Been There series. So I'm like looking for the mugs of the places that I have been just to sort of complete my, my collection. So that's a real nice treat, but I'm enjoying my first like hot coffee of the day. I did not, that's not true. I did have a hot coffee first thing this morning when I got up and was getting the kids off to school, but that one doesn't even count. That's, that's just sanity in a cup. So anyways, I thought I would show you the Suburban Stitcher second day of Advent. So this is the December 2nd package. And I did read, Diane had included this little card uh, with just information about the club. And it says that this is a fade. Um, and I got the, there's two different fades see there's a neutral fade and a suburban fade now I got the suburban fade because knowing Diane I know that she loves pink and I was hoping that this would be a somewhat pink fade so we'll we'll see uh, so this here is the second one she's just a couple of different patterns using only this yarn and also a pattern uh, two different patterns suggesting or using this yarn as well as an additional skein of yarn um, and she even includes here like what other coordinating skeins would work out really well. So that's really, really neat. I appreciate that. So as a refresher, this was December 1st. Let's see what she has in store for us today. Ooh. Similar. Oh, I like where this is going. Look at that. So this is December 1 and this is December 2nd. Aren't they beautiful? This is this is going to be amazing. I haven't decided, like I said yesterday, I haven't quite decided what I want to do with this. I'm really, really interested in doing the habitation, 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 habitation throw. Habitation. Mm. I think it's the habitation throw. This is where the English as a second language will show, and I'm going to butcher words so I'll just prepare you for that but um, my friend <laughs> Joanna had knit this during quarantine I think she might actually have been on to two um, but I was watching some of her vlogs and she was she was knitting it Habination, I don't know oh my gosh I think I said it right yesterday but she had knit this um, this wrap and I think this would be really really pretty and I think the way it works is you just kind of cast on and then you keep 
increasing until you get to the halfway point and then you just start decreasing and then in the end you have a, a square. So I hope that could be like a, a little lap blanket maybe. So we'll see, I think that's what this will become. Yeah, so it feels like I've been super busy all day, but I really don't think I have done a lot. I haven't knit anything today. I did finish the first stripe on my advent sock yesterday, so I'll grab that for you. Okay, so I just went to get my advent socks. Again, they're in my By the Lakeside bag. This is her Holiday Bears bag. And yesterday I was just about done the cuff. Um, so I knit, I ended up knitting 24 rows of two by two rib for my cuff. I tried to knit a little bit looser because I've been like stress knitting lately. Like everything has been tighter and I'm just, I'm trying to just relax and calm and really enjoy my knitting and just let it all go because there's just so much stress in the last few months. So been really trying to focus on that. Now I had said that I was going to knit a plain vanilla sock. Um, turns out <laughs> when I started knitting it, I didn't want to knit just a plain vanilla sock. It is pretty close though. So here's where we're at. I, I've only knit the one stripe, so it's so hard to show, but I don't know if you can tell right there, right there. There's just the beginning of a little bit of a, um, Twit, a twisted stitch cable um, that I am using. The pattern is from, let's see here, the Dunbrock socks by Kay Jones. Um, so I'm just incorporating just a piece of it. There is this, if you look up the pattern, there is just like a little cable kind of that's going down the side. I'm not doing all the texture that is in this pattern, just the cable, just add a little bit of something fun on the side of the sock. So that's what I've decided to do. I am just about to start color number two. Um, I am just waiting for, for all the kids to be home. One of our kids has, he's at a scouting event. They're having a bonfire tonight. So that should be really fun for him. And when he gets back, then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna watch another Christmas movie together. So I'm not sure what was, what was picked for tonight. But um, it's been really nice just to snuggle up on the couch with the kids and, and watch this movie and have a couple of snacks every night. Uh, last night, the boys begged for hot chocolate, so we had hot chocolate to go with it. And uh, that was really lovely. So that's pretty much, I think, all that, I've, all that I've been up to today. It's been a slow day. It felt like a busy day. Um, we did clean out our our basement uh, because I have a project that I need to start down there. So I may show you some of that process as well. Um, um, but I, other than that, I will leave you guys um, with that. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna knit this, this stripe. We'll see if maybe I can get it done before the movie and uh, work on something else during the movie. But I hope you had a lovely day.